Hey there, quirky folks! We just got the Black Adam trailer, and people are pretty hyped to see him in an anti-hero avatar. But you've got to know that he has been portrayed as a villain in many comic iterations. His dark sense of justice is not shared by anyone. Where Superman is the symbol of nobility and hope, Black Adam is more of a tyrant who asserts his own sense of justice upon the world. It has been involved in quite a few dark activities. To list them down just from the top of my head, he took the throne of ancient Egypt by snapping the neck of a pharaoh. He killed Billy Batson's parents. He manipulated the Justice Society of America to invade Kandak and establish his rule. And among many of his atrocious deeds, he started World War III. Even his origin story is pretty dark. He wasn't an evil man to begin with, but the atrocities and hardship of the world changed him. A series of unspeakable acts against him made him ruthless. He started off as a slave whose family was subjugated to abuse and mistreatment for years. That's what turned him to the dark side. But people really want to know what he did with his nephew. One of the most frequently asked questions on the internet is whether Black Adam actually killed his nephew. Well, if you've also been wondering about this, then don't worry. I've got you guys covered. Black Adam's origin has been rebooted and retconned many times. In the New 52 era of DC, it was revealed that Teth Adam was never supposed to be the main champion of the wizard Shazam's power. The wizard actually wanted to choose Teth Adam's nephew, Amun. He was a very good and kind-hearted boy who would have become a phenomenal champion of the wizard. There was an instance where Teth Adam was fatally wounded and he was about to die. But the boy showed how he didn't have the lust for power. He made a noble and charitable act by sharing half of his power with his uncle Teth Adam. The newly acquired powers allowed him to heal. But Adam thought that Amun wasn't the right choice to be the carrier of these godly powers. He thought that he himself would reshape the world with these powers. So sadly, Adam found a way to end his misery by sacrificing Amun. You see, Amun wanted to use his powers to help everyone in the world. But Teth Adam had begun to resent the world that was full of oppressors who treated other people as slaves. So he decided to give all those people a taste of their own medicine. There was a warlord who killed his family and all that Adam wanted was revenge. So after seeing how his nephew could share his power with him, he decided to sacrifice the little kid. In Justice League issue number 20, Adam and Amun screamed Shazam together. And as the thunder came down on them, Adam seemingly killed Amun and took all the power for himself. Shazam! We were not shown what he did to the kid, but it was pretty obvious that the poor boy who trusted in his uncle had died. So you see, Adam basically stole the powers of the gods from his nephew. To answer the question, yes, he killed his nephew for sure. Then his limitless power corrupted him, and the wizard changed his name from the Mighty Adam to the Black Adam. We could see a story that plays partially like this in the DCEU, but in the movie, Adam may not stoop so far down to the level of villains to get his powers. The creatives will definitely leave the part out where he stole the powers by killing a small kid. That will make the character unrelatable for the viewers. Instead, we'll be seeing his son sacrificing himself. My son sacrificed his life to save me. And that would push him to the edge of becoming a cold-blooded murderer. His brutal acts are going to come after he gets his powers, not before that. Okay, that's all for now. Are you excited to see Black Adam in the theaters this year? Let us know in the comments. Hit the like and the subscribe buttons if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to check out some more fun content on our channel. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!